Welcome back. We seem to have sorted out our technical issues and we can bring you your sports bulletin. And we start with sad news. The Free State Stars Football Club and the football fraternity have been shocked and saddened at the sudden death of national striker Richard Henyakane. The club confirmed that the former Mamelodi Sundowns Amber Fana player passed away in the early hours of this morning after being involved in a serious car accident while travelling with four other passengers. Only he lost his life. The club, who called him the Kimberley Express, sent their condolences to the family who lost Henyakane's younger brother Joseph in December. Henyakane was 31 years old and won nine national caps with Bafana Bafana. All right, we're now joined on the line by La Duma magazine editor Clint Roypo, who has followed Henyakane's illustrious career. A very good morning, Clint, and a real unfortunate occasion that we're actually speaking to. Shocking news coming through. Yes, good morning to you, Van, and all, uh, all the viewers. And um, yeah, all I can say is a uh, huge shock, massive shock. Um, and it's a, it's a story that we're hearing all too often uh, with South African footballers, Bafana Bafana footballers. Uh, Leslie Manyatela, we lost. Tommy Malazaki, we lost Biff Bereni. Um, it's a shocking trend um, and, uh, and something that needs to be looked at. Um, the, the details are still very vague, but um, our thoughts and praise God to the Henyakane family, who, as you mentioned, have now lost two sons in a space of 16 weeks, and it's uh, an absolute tragedy for uh, South African football. I mean, one of the last interviews that uh, Richard actually gave, he was speaking about coming back to form and, and he seemed to be reinvigorated to find his form once again with Free State Stars and maybe even vie for a, a national spot. And this is a guy that, you know, many said still had a lot to give to football in South Africa. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially in a time when Bafana Bafana are looking for, for strikers, someone to stick up their hand and, and score goals, um, we have this, um, this beautiful player, a, a, a real journeyman who's gone through ups and downs, has spent some time with sundowns, golden arrows, and, and was coming to form at Free State Stars, seemed to be uh, on somewhat of a comeback, as you say, and, and then to have him uh, stolen from us like this is an absolute tragedy. Uh, Clint, you, you followed his career, you wrote many articles about him. What kind of person was he? He was soft-spoken, humble. Um, he, uh, he, he loved the game. He was a true professional. Um, and, um, you know, one of the guys who really kept himself in shape, even though he was the you know, wrong side of that 50 mark where South African teams seemed to retire a lot of our players. Uh, too soon, in my opinion. He was one guy sticking up his hand and, uh, uh, and showing that he was going to be around for the long haul. And, um, and, that's, and that's what makes it even more sad. Uh, Clint, how much of a loss is this to South African football? Yeah, look, you know, Shakes will look at this and, and obviously um, he's looking at, at a vision uh, for the World Cups to come and he's looking at younger players coming in. But there's, a, there's still a massive part for players like Ahenia Kani to play, whether it be for the local games. Um, these experienced guys coming in, putting an arm around the youngsters and showing them what being professional is all about. Um, and, and that's the tragedy is that we've not just lost a, a good footballer, we've, we've lost a good man. And we don't seem to stop burying these men that are icons in South Africa. I mean, we all can tap into those emotions of losing Sendamiwe in such a tragic, tragic way just a couple of months ago. And on Saturday, we are going to be having a memorial service for another football legend, Kalamazoo. Yeah, I mean, Kalamazoo, a lot of South Africans don't know uh, his story, and especially the youngsters who... Um, who are maybe more fixated on the on the uh, the guys like Dr. Kamalo and, and Ted Zimaloy, but um, Kalamazoo was up there with the very best footballers ever produced on this continent, um, and uh, uh, you know an, an icon we should be proud of. And I'm glad to see that the country and Safa in particular um, are, are now making a noise about Kalamazoo. The, the, the sad thing is is that it seems that a lot of these guys are dying and then being recognised. And, and I know a lot of the legends. Uh, past us saying, well, hold on, you know, a lot of us are still living. Um, why not celebrate our life while we're alive? And, um, and that's maybe something that needs to be looked at in South African soccer. And then also for our young footballers uh, to maybe also, uh, you know, just learn from those ha who have been able to, you know, go on and, and go into retirement. So we don't want to see uh, players that are still active in the game, us having to say goodbye to them, you know, at an early stage in their life. 
Yeah, most definitely. Look, the, the, the legends that our youngsters know of are those guys who are assistant coaches at various teams. Some of them possibly get into commentating, punditry, but there's so many of them out there who don't do that. There are only so many assistant coaching positions available. Um, and I believe, you know, possibly the, uh, the, these guys need to be held up to the South African public because they're the only reason South African soccer exists. They're the, they're the guys who built the PSL, and um, as I said, it's so sad that a lot of them are only... Uh, uh, celebrated in, in death rather than in life. All right, thank you very much. That's Leduma editor Clint Roper. We thank you very much for your insights and also speaking about uh, international footballer Richard Henyakane, who in the early hours of this morning lost his life. It's time now to get your headline news.